नमो शिवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्ण हरे हरे सो वांटेड टू सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ राधा माधव राधा श्याम सुंदर कृष्ण बलराम बाल गोपाल गोनिता शिलपो गोपाल गुरु महाराज इन द असेंबल डिवोटीज इट्स कंटिन्यूइंग विद सनातन धर्म कोर्स एंड लुकिंग एट द देवताज इन समरी सो फार um we've seen the function of lord brahma lord shiva durga mata ganesh indra and today we want to have a, a look at surya dev so the sun god surya dev embodies a fraction of lord krishna's opulence and is a very powerful jiva or living entity therefore the sun god can be worshiped not as the supreme personality of god it but as the lord's powerful representative we worship the sun god by chanting the gayatri mantra this is one of the ways that the lord supreme lord is also worshiped <clears throat> through the chanting of the gayatri mantra surya the sun god controls the affairs of the entire universe especially in regard to heat light seasonal changes and so on if there wasn't any light if there wasn't any sun this universe would struggle in the dark there would be no life practically speaking he is considered a very powerful jiva an expansion of narayan sometimes he's also known as surya narayan so he's on the pretty much on the level of narayan very powerful personality all living entities including demigods human beings animals birds insects reptiles creepers trees depend upon the heat and light given by the sun god from the sun planet furthermore it is because of the sun's presence that all living entities can see he is the eye of the universe he is our eye as well we can without the sun without without light in darkness what can we do what can we see Surya is the life and soul of this universe. There are innumerable universes for which the sun god is the life and soul. Just as supreme personality of god is the life and soul of the entire creation. So this is a verse I presume from the Vedic man it's a Vedic mantra. I won't get it right. <laughs> so let's just read this english translation throughout the dusky firm firmament advancing laying to rest the immortal and mortal born in his golden chariot he cometh savitar god who looks on every creature mm -hmm. the above vedic mantra of him is the rigved in praise of surya the sun god So they have also known as Surya or Phara Artit is the main solar deity in Sanatan Dharma he is also commonly referred to as the sun the main deity of the navgras or nine planets of vedic astrology as well he is considered as one of the navgras surya is often portrayed okay as riding on a chariot driven by seven horses or alternatively by one horse with seven heads these seven horses represent the colors of the rainbow the seven chakras in the subtle human body as well so sun is so important even if if impacts our uh, human body sometimes shown with is shown with two hands holding one lotus in each sometimes with four hands holding a lotus shank chakra and gada that's similar to vishnu so this is seven horses and he's got a chariot what was his name i forgot his name and so there this one he has got the four handed form surya devata in vedic dharma is considered to be an eye of the virat purush or the vishwarup the universal form of lord krishna himself incidentally surya is worshiped by by people saints and even asuras or demons 
certain groups of Rakshishas called the Yatudhanas were staunch followers of the sun god. Surya Dev is regarded as the supreme being among the followers of the Shaurya sect, which has now become very small, is almost in, endangered. The Shauryas worship him as one of the five major forms of God. Surya is worshipped in many forms, but two of the most common forms of the Lord are Arka and Mitra. Surya in the form of Arka is worshipped mostly in North and Eastern India. The very grand and elaborate Konarak temple in Orissa. So we've been there and it's no longer functioning, but it's the most glorious monument to Sanatana Dharma still. The Utaka, Utaraka and Loraka in Uttar Pradesh, the Balakra temple in Rajasthan and the Sun temple at Modhera, Gujarat are all dedicated to his form of Arka. Yet another temple, the Balarka Surya Mandir, built in Uttar Pradesh in the 10th century, was destroyed in the 14th century during the Turkish invasion. So that's Arka and uh, Mitra is found mostly in Gujarat. Mitra literally means friend. Lord Surya is hailed by 108 names. The most common, Aditya. So Aditya, we came across that yesterday. Um, Aditi is the mother of the Devatas. And Aditya means son of sons of Aditi. Adidev, um, Angarak, Arka, Bhaga, Dharmadvija. Datri, Dume, uh, Dumaketu, Indra. So he's also can be referred to as Indra. Jay, Maitri, Prabhakar, Ravi, Savitri, Soma, Tej, Vaishravana. Okay. Family and relationships. So Surya Vivaspata has three queens, namely Sharanya, also called Sharanya, Sharanyu, Sanjana or Sangya, Ragi, and Prabha. Hmm. So Saranya was the mother of Vivaspat Manu or Satyavat Manu, the present Manu, and the twins, Yam. Yamraj and Yami or Yam, Yamuna, I think that is Yamuna. Later, she also gave birth to the Ashwin twins who were the divine horsemen and physicians to the Devs. Being unable to bear the extreme radiance emanate, emitted, emitted by Surya, Shauranya created a superficial shadow of herself called Chaya. Mm -hmm. Chaya means shadow. She asked her to act as Surya's wife. In due course of time, Chaya gave birth to two sons, named, namely uh, Savarni Manu and Shani. Shani, planet Saturn. So Shani, we know Shani. Shani can be a little bit of an obstacle sometimes. And two daughters named Tapti and Vishti. Surya's other wife, Ragi, gave birth to their son Revanta or Revata. Surya's, Surya Dev's sons, Shami and Yama, are the judges of human life and karma. While Shani Dev bestows positive or negative results for one's deeds committed during one's lifetime, Yam grants these results after death. Interesting relationship between the children of uh, Surya Dev. In the Ramayan, Surya is said to be the father of King Sugriv. Mm -hmm. Who ruled um, Sugriv's father is Surya Dev. Sugriva was one who helped Ram defeat the terrible demon king Ravan 
he imparted training to Hanuman to help him lead the Vanara Sena or the army of monkeys. Interestingly, Lord Ram himself is a descendant of Surya. He is Surya Manchi, that is hailing from the dynasty of Surya Manch. So yes, Ram also took birth in the dynasty of Surya. Surya bears great significance in the Mahabharata as well. According to this epic, Kunti received the diksha for a mantra from a, the short-tempered sage Durvasa Muni. She was given the boon that whenever she chanted the mantra, she would be able to summon a deva and also bear a child by him. Without realizing its seriousness, Kunti tested the mantra summoning Surya Dev, as Surya was forced to fulfill the obligation of the mantra, she miraculously begot a child from him while actually retaining her virginity. Not able to bear the thought of becoming an unwed mother, Princess Kunti was compelled to abandon her son, Kern, who later grew up to be one of the greatest ever warriors and the central character in the Battle of Kurukshetra. The first book of Mahabharata does not mention Surya as one of the Adityas. However, he may be regarded as the joint strength of all the 12 solar deities, namely Datri, Mitra, Aryaman, Sakra, Varun, Amps, Bhag, Vivaspat, Usha, Savitri, Twashtri, Vishnu. So, very interesting. So, Kern appeared uh, as a son of Surya, like a partial incarnation of Surya. This is Surya Dev coming to Kuntima when she um, invoked his presence. <laughs> Surya, the sun god, controls the affairs of the entire universe, especially in regard to heat, light, seasonal changes. And he's considered to be um, expansion of Narayan. Surya represents, yes, Prabhupada. Just a quick question. Did you say that, uh, we, did, uh, was it Vishwamitra? Can you turn the up? Like... Hmm. Not Vishwamitra. Uh... Uh... Where is it? Vivaspat. Uh, Surya bears. No, Durvasa. Ah, Durvasa, yes. Did, did he give a, a curse? No, you... a benediction. He, he was so pleased What's with that? Kunti. Um, uh, um, he gave her a blessing that um, uh, because she served him so wonderfully and she was only a little child. So yes. he's, uh, in the future, yeah. you can call upon any devata and yeah. he will give you a, a child. All right. And then this is the reason the Karan was born. Yes. And then when, um, when Pandu couldn't um, give her any children, they invoked the devatas like Dharamraj was called upon, who, who gave Yudhisthir, Vayu yes. gave Bhim, Indra gave um, Arjun, yes. like, that, like that. All right. Now, thank you very much. I, I've, I got a bit confused. That's yeah. why. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Surya represents the three Ved, the Vedas, Yajur, uh, sorry, Rig, Yajur, and Sama. Therefore, he's known as Trayamaya. Trayai Maya, the form of Lord Narayan. Surya is also called Daikara, Daimaka, and Grahapati, king of the planets. The sun god has expanded himself in 12 divisions. Thus he controls the six seasonal changes and causes winter, summer, rain, and so on. The six seasons are spring, summer, monsoon. So this is much more in the in in India, Bharat, autumn, pre-winter, and then winter itself. So there are six seasons. The sun god, who is Narayan or Vishnu, 
the soul of all the worlds, is situated in outer space, between the upper and lower portions of the universe. Passing through 12 months on the wheel of time, the sun comes in touch with the 12 different signs of the zodiac and assumes 12 different names according to these signs. The aggregate of those 12 months is called Sambatsara, entire year. According to lunar calculations, two fortnights, one of the waxing and the other of the waning moon, form one month. That same period is one day and one night for the planet for the planet Prithvilok. According to stellar calculations, a month equals two and a quarter constellations. When the sun travels for two months, a season passes, and therefore seasonal changes are considered part of the body of the year. The entire Kala Chakra, or Wheel of Time, established on the, is established on the wheel of the sun god's chariot. This wheel is known as Samvatsara. The seven horses pulling the chariot of the sun are known as Gayatri, Brahati, Ush, Usnik, Jagati, Tristup, Anushtup, and Pankti. They are harnessed by a demigod known as ah, Arundev. So the Arundev is that chariot driver. To a yoke, Nine lakh, nine hundred thousand yojanas wide. The seven horses represent the seven colors of the visible light, the, the rainbow colors, and the seven days of the week. The chariot carries Aditya, Aditya Dev, the sun god, always standing in front of the sun god and offering their prayers are 60,000 sages known as Vali Kilyas. So we came across them in the Shrimad Bhagavatam. They're tiny. Thumb size, but they uh, protect actually the rest of the universe from the harsh sun rays from the sun. They are great sages and they're glorifying Surya Dev. They're always in front of the sun god. There are 14 Gandharvas, Asparas, and other demigods who are divided into seven parties and who perform ritualistic activities every month to worship the super soul through the sun god according to different names. So sun god is really powerful. There you go. This is the sun chariot, the sun god, Arundev, and the horses pulling the chariot of the sun across the universe. The sun god travels through the universe for a distance of 95 million Yojanas, the six, 760 uh, million uh, miles, at a speed of 16,000 miles at any moment, every moment. In Vedic astrology, Surya is regarded as slightly volatile due to his nature of being too radiant and emanating, emitting too much power, too much heat. The sun thus represents the soul vitality, courage, willpower, authority, royalty, and so on. His position is exalted in Mesa or Aries and takes a backward position in Tula or Libra. In Vedic horoscope, the best location for the sun is considered to be right overhead on the 10th house and on the 1st, 5th, and ninth houses. Surya is the lord of Kritika, Uttar Palguni, Uttar Ash. Ashada. He is often associated with reds, coppers, and metallic colors, and his gemstone is ruby. So some people wear these on their fingers to give them extra strength, which is the blessing of Surya Dev. Surya blessed Bal Hanuman. Surya Dev is known to be strong and powerful and invincible. However, he too was once subdued by Hanuman, he swallowed, Hanuman swallowed him up. <laughs> so we can just imagine the power of Surya Dev. Can you imagine the power of Hanuman, who was a little child at that time? <laughs> but he swallowed him up. He had an interesting episode with Surya during his childhood, a rather playful and mischievous monkey in his Balya Vasta childhood. 
Hanuman leapt up to the skies and started chasing Surya, mistaking him to be a ripe mango. <laughs> he pursued the sun, wanting to eat what he thought was a delicious fruit. Later, when he realized that Surya was an all-knowing teacher, Hanuman raised his body and positioned himself to orbit around the sun, also requesting him to accept Hanuman as a disciple. Surya refused, saying that he could never be in one place, so uh, as he had to constantly traverse the around the universe. And undeterred Hanuman continued to pursue Surya and kept pleading persistently. Surya then agreed and passed on his knowledge to Hanuman. So Hanuman is a disciple of Surya Dev. In this way, Surya emerged as Karmi Shakshi, the eternal karma, karma Shakshi, the eternal witness of all deeds. He also gave Hanuman two siddhis, namely Lagu, uh, Lag, Lagima and Garima, which enabled him to take the smallest form and the largest form, respectively, at will. So he could become as small as he wants or big as he wants. Surya Cinnamon Ravi is the root of the word Ravivar or Sunday in the Vedic calendar. In both Bharatiya and Greek Roman uh, nomenclature, for days of the week, the sun is dedicated to the sun. Sunday is dedicated to sun. Surya's temples are found in many parts of Bharat. Most common uh, than Surya's temples are artwork related to Surya. Which are often, which are found in all types of temples of various traditions. Some of the major temples are as follows: Konarak, uh, rebuilt in the 13th century, is also known as the Black Pagoda. It is located in Orissa, Konarak, and was supposedly built by King Nasimhadev, number one of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. This temple is built in the shape of a huge chariot with elaborately carved stones, wheels, uh, walls, and pillars. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, site is a, it's a World Heritage Site, also considered to be one of the seven wonders of India. This temple is now partially in ruins, but it's still the glory you can still see it. It's such a phenomenal temple. The name Konarak is derived from its roots Kono, uh, which is corner and Arak, Arka. Arka is another name for um, Surya Dev. The structure was originally built at the mouth of the river Chandrabhag, but now the river has notably receded. Strictly adhering to the Kalinga style of architecture, this temple was built with Kondalite rocks and faced the east in such a way that the first rays of the sun could strike the main entrance. The Tonorak Temple is well known for its intricate and erotic sculptures of Maitunas. Two small temples, smaller temples have, are found nearby. One of them is Maya Devi Temple, one of Surya Dev's wives, and the other is Vaishnav Temple, comprising sculptures of Balaram, Varaha, and Trivikram. Neither of the temples has a main deity. So this is an idea of the sun temple at Konarak. The full glory is no longer there, but it still is incredible sight to see. Over 5,000 years ago, somebody, son of Krishna, suffered from leprosy. The sage Kataka asked him to worship Surya to cure his disease. Samba undertook penance for 12 years near the shores of Chandrabhag and then built Konarak and other temples as well. So he was the original um, builder of the Konarak temple. There's this Multan Sun Temple, uh, is also known as the Aditya Sun Temple, located in Punjab or Pakistan now. Original Multan Sun Temple is said to have been built by Samba. This temple is supposed to have been visited by uh, Hussein Sang in 641 AD. The temple, rich in its opulence, gold and gems, became a source of revenue for the Muslim invaders after the invasion. invasion. 
he plundered and looted its wealth, sparing only the deity, which was made of wood. <laughs> Before the invasion, this deity had been covered with gems and gold, with two red rubies for its enemies. The city of Multan probably got its name from the Sanskrit word Mulasthana, which is the location of this temple. However, the exact location of the original Mutan temple is presently under debate. So much damage was done, unfortunately, to so many wonderful temples and structures. Also known as, this is the Biranchi Narayan Temple, Bugado, Bugudo, um, or the Wooden Conroe. This temple is situated in uh, Buguda town in Orissa. It was built immediately after the Konrad Temple by King Panjadi in 1790. That's a long time ago. The main deity in this temple is Biranchi Narayan, who's, who, who's, was, who was recovered from the ruins of Multigan. The deity shows a chariot driven by seven horses with only one wheel on the left. So this is how the way the chariot is it only has that one wheel because it's going all the way around the universe also with Arjun as the chariot made of wood this temple faces west and is built in such a way that the setting sun's last rays falls on Surya's feet and then there's the sun temple in Modera in Gujarat created in 1026 by Bean been there for the soul so dynasty. This impressive stone temple is located along the banks of the river Pushpavati, 100 kilometers from Andaman. Though prayers are no more conducted in this temple, it still regains, retains its earlier grandeur. According to Skanda Puran and Brahma Puran, the region surrounding Modera are known as Dharamranya. On the ad advice of sage Vasishta, Lord Ramchandra had come to this place to purify himself after killing Ravan. Interesting. He stayed in a place called Mudarak and performed a yagya there, after which he set up a village named Sitapur, which eventually came to be known as Mudera. Mm. The temple is so built that the first rays of the sun fell on the, idol, on the deity of Surya. Um, now the temple is partially in ruins. However, a dance festival is held, annually held in order to keep the ancient culture and tradition alive. Renowned artists travel from all over the globe to perform at this wonderful location. Martand, Martand Sun Temple. This is situated near Anantaranag in the state of Janu Kashmir. This sun temple is now in ruins. It was built in the Aryan state in the 8th century and is now one of the most important archaeological sites in India. Built by King Lalita Ditya Muktapida. It is said that the foundation of the temple was built around 370 to 500 AD. The Martand temple appears in the list of India's centrally protected monuments. Suryanar temple is in Kumbha Konam, Tamil Nadu. This temple was built even before the Konarak temple by Kutunga uh, Choladev, comprising a 50-foot uh, Gopuram or tower. There is a deity of Surya with his chariot and horses right at the entrance. The central sanctum uh, is dedicated to Surya and with shrines of the other planets situated all around it. This Navagra temple is considered to be the extremely powerful and attracts a large number of devotees every year, especially during festival times. Earlier, this temple was known as Kutonga Chola Matende Dayala. There are sun temples in many parts of India, such as Mothera, Gujarat, which is sponsored by King Bindeva. We've already done that one. Surya temples are found in uh, Kanaka, Dithya Temple in Kashela, Kashili, Mahastra, near the famous Daltanji Temple in Jaipur, 
राजस्थान एंड आसाम अदित्या पूर्णम सन टेम्पल इज अ हिंदू टेम्पल लोकेटेड इन इरावी मंगलम नियर कदूथुरुथी इन खोतयाम डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द इंडियन स्टेट ऑफ करेला केरला डेडिकेटेड सूर्य इट इज नोटेड एज द ओनली सूर्य श्राइन इन केरला स्टेट Now, Martan Sun Temple in Jammu Kashmir was destroyed by Islamic armies. A surviving Surya Temple in northern India is Katharmal Surya Mandir in Al Mura district, Uttarakhand, created by King Katharmal in the 12th century. The Gurjars were specially sun worshippers, and some of the sun temples were erected by them during the medieval period. The sun temple known as Jayaditya. was constructed by good gurjal gurjar king of nandipur jayabat 2 this temple is situated at kotipur near kapika in the baruka cha district the surya temple of binal known as jagaswami surya temple was also erected during this period So there's also temples outside of uh, Bharat. Um, I don't propose to go through this too much. While Shiva and Vishnu are common in the first millennium, South Asian, East Asian artwork, such as those found in Cambodia and Thailand, archaeological evidence suggests that Surya Dev were among the pattern of ideas adopted early in these regions retained after buddhism became the dominant uh, tradition so surya dev was very famous uh, many temples and this um, in afghanistan in nepal china <laughs> of course sanatan dharma was worldwide at one point so it's hardly surprising there are temples dedicated to surya dev um around the world actually makkar sankranti is the most famous festival which is dedicated to surya dev it's also referred to as pongal by the south bharatiya um, tamil people and um is done for good harvest uh chahat is also celebrated in surya's name started by kern the son of surya held in bihar even in mauritius apparently <laughs> samba dashami um shamba dashami so this is uh, related to in honor of shamba the son of krishna rath saptami another festival dedicated to surya dev falling on the seventh day of the bright half of mag this day is also celebrated surya jayanti it is believed that lord vishnu incarnated as surya on this day surya narayan at the tirumala temple in andhra pradesh the presiding deity lord balaji venkateshwar is mounted on seven vahanas vehicles one after another in the prescribed order interesting so quite a few lot of festivals are taking place around bharat in the name of surya dev many hindus perform surya upasana offering worship to the sun god in april and that's considered to be the most auspicious time to worship lord uh, surya dev he is the be- is believed to be a giver of intelligence confidence good health courage strength leadership qualities independence fame success power much more after having a bath early morning the seeker has to offer jal or water to surya so this tradition still continues in bharat and often you will see uh, devotees early morning as soon as the sun rises they will offer some water to 
संकट भरतनाट्यम इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ होमेज टू सूर्यदेव सूर्य नमस्कार very famous uh, exercise which is performed by yogis and many others surya is celebrated as deity in buddhist art work of art as well so very interesting surya dev is uh, quite a universal personality the sun of course is very important to all of mankind all of creation So I wanted to stop there. As um, Surinder, anything you'd like to share? Hare Krishna, Dandavat, Nitai Gaur, Hari Bol, Hare Krishna, Dandavat, all the Vaishnavas. Yes, Prabhu. So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that, that I instructed the uh, yes. science of Bhagavad Gita to the Sun God. Vivaspat. Vivaswam. Yes. 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 He explains to Arjuna. Mm. Like that. So. the sun god vivaswan has been teaching the science of bhagavad gita mm it's a question handing over to his uh, followers and uh, also in brahma samhita there is a verse yakchakshure mm. sasavita sakala grahanam raja samasya sura murti rashesha tejah yasya jaya brahmati samrita kala chakro govindamari purusham tamaham bajami so in brief uh, this verse explains that surya is also following uh, the instructions of lord krishna and is moving in the southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere only by the power of lord krishna as krishna's mm-hmm. grace so surya dev is also worshiping original krishna govindam adi purusham tamam bajam hmm. like that so by his grace we can uh, worship uh, govinda krishna the original supreme person of godhead uh, we should have hmm. the mood uh, this is our prayer right. and uh, and uh, like that so surya uh yes and uh, we get some vitamin d with the effect of sunlight hmm. so when in winter we become short of vitamin d because we are not exposed to the sun so the sun rays very important uh, for the plants photosynthesis and etc and for hmm. us as well and uh, yes in this way <clears throat> and uh, uh, beg the mercy of uh, surya narayan to continue our krishna consciousness nitai gaur hari bol prabhu thank you very much thank you absolutely very good thank you for uh, giving those two references as well very interesting any questions any comments mm, hari krishna prabhu ji is the i'm just <laughs> general question the is the surya dev worship all over the world with all the cultures the people quite a lot is, you did man, you did mention so many countries like thailand can mm. everywhere they have got surya narayan temple mm. correct correct the, he is worshiped uh, in many many cultures uh, isn't he uh, we were seeing how outside of bharat there so many temples dedicated to surya dev because you you did mention quite a lot of names there mm. Mm. with other countries yeah so it, it, in a way it's, it it is worshiped by many yeah. cultures too yeah like we bharat people do it yeah mm. but then there is other people also doing the same yeah. thing yeah. and worshiping the sun which mm. is very good yes and the, and you did mention about this temple where um, that's uh, this when the sun comes out the first rays goes yeah in that uh, temple and yes. uh, I, i think in the whatsapp sometimes uh, the people mm. have send there's that messages that this is the temple where sun uh, when sun rises the mm. first uh, rays goes in that temple and we can do the darshan and they said that it is very good to do the darshan i mean we are not going to go to temple there but seeing in the 
what's up uh, it's nice to do the darshan there mm, i agree uh, thank you thank you it's very nice very interesting thank you hare krishna prabhu hare 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 krishna yes mataji so you know i would to add you know in mauritius we all worship the sun even in rodrigues rodrigues and there are some few islands right there are hindus over there they worship and they, they have feast on those days and they worship the sun right okay hari bol bol no thank you yes mauritius as, as well he did mention it uh, in passing there yes very good thank you for sharing that hari bol <coughs> thank you oh uh, <coughs> uh, i can see proverbs question uh I understand from what I have heard from the past from the acharyas that Bharat was extended as far as all the way to mm. China Japan so I suppose over the centuries things are still there and people haven't been able to dig out all the information mm. but things are revealing now so yeah all of the I, world, actually yeah that's right that's right yeah. Hare Krishna Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so let's stop. Surya Dev ki jai, Surya Narayan ki jai.